find how to calculate total number of occurrence of characters in a given string. Uh, we can say it frequency of chars or characters. Okay, save this project, save the main file. Okay, start. Let us start using name space std. First of all, we will understand the logic of the problem as usual. So let's suppose we have a string a b a a c. This is a given string. We want to calculate or find how what are the occurrence or frequency of characters in this string. Then we will say that a is three times, b is one time, and c is one time. Okay. Now let us start in the code. We will have to initialize a string as usual by of size any. We are going to getting input in this string and string. The string will get input with the help of getS function. str getter. We are using getS function to get string. These are the three simple lines that are self-explanatory. I think these are the self-explanatory. This is using this. These are used to get input. This is the initialization and declaration of string variable. Okay, let us start. We are because we are going to calculate the total number of occurrence or frequency. We are using a simple variable sum for this purpose. We are now going to proceed. The actual logic to understand is that we are going to find each and every alphabet within the string so that we are using nesting. We are going to use nested loop. First loop will pass individual characters from a to z inside the inner loop and the inner loop will pass entire string and find either the outer loop scans that uh, gives us character is in the inner loop or not so let us start in try is equal to 65 why we are using 65 here because capital a code is 65 is less than or equal to 90 why are less than or equal to 90 because capital z is ASCII code is 90. Okay, this what will what this loop will do? This will provide characters to check in inner loop. Okay, we have to do here is inner loop and j is equal to zero or any other variable j is less than 100 we can also use here size of operator for the sake of constant remembering str and j plus plus each and every time we have to introduce here sum is equal to zero because each and every time there will be a different character coming from the outer loop that's why we are going to have specify here sum is equal to zero this loop is used to traverse the traverse the string or complete array okay what we will have to do in this inner we will say only if convert or get the ascii code of str coming i index is equal to i what we are doing here this is the understandable this is the point where we want to elaborate it again this condition checks first of all convert the coming character into ascii code or integer value and comparing it to i what is i i is coming from 65 to 90 means 65 ascii is of capital a and 90 is of capital c what it will do it will only do sum is equal to sum plus one okay when this iteration will complete when this iteration will complete we just say if sum is greater than zero because we are not we do not want any characters that is not exist in our string to calculate it it comes to zero time so that we say here if sum is greater than 0 see out 
वही सेड हेयर चार आई द कमिंग करेक्टर फ्रॉम द आउटर लूप वी कैन से हेयर कम्स और वे ब्यूटीफाई ओवर आउटवर्ड कम्स सम विल कंटेन टोटल नंबर ऑफ ऑक्रेंस हेयर वी कैन से डेट टाइम्स ओके हेयर वी कैन आल्सो यूज एंड Okay, this is the simple code. That will find the occurrence of here. I have got to clear it for you that this will only find the occurrence of capital A to Z characters inside the string, not the small. It will only find the occurrence of capital A. Okay, compile this code. Let's check. There is it may contain any kind of error. It is going to be compiled. Compiled successfully. Okay, I am going to enter some characters. Okay, see out here. I got some mistake. We will have to use here J index instead of I index because inner traversing loop is J. Okay, compile it again. For the lack of speed, I type here I. Okay, we are going to here total number of characters. This is very beautiful output. This saying that T comes one time and F comes two time. We can clearly see here in the output of our code that T comes one time from the given string and F comes two times from the given string. As I have said earlier, that this will only count or provide the frequency of upper case letters, not the lower case letters. What we will have to do, you can also take it as the challenge. What we will have to do if we want to calculate or find the frequency of lower case letters, but I have to solve here this too. Now we just copying this code for the capital code, capital alphabets, pasting here. We will have to traverse it. From 97 <coughs> to 122, because 97 is the code of small a and 122 is the code of small z. Because small a is 32 ASCII away from small capital A, and small z is 32 ASCII away from capital Z. Inside the code, what we will have to do. The same thing as we have do earlier. Okay, let's try to compile. <coughs> Sorry, compile our code. This is compiled and it's carefully. Okay, we have to type uh, here, 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 here. This is the output that is telling that capital D inside the string is one times, capital S is five times, small D is four times. And small t s is coming three times inside the code. Okay, let me have to move to the code again. This is the initialization. This is the input. This is the for counting purpose. This first iteration complete for loop is used to traverse, provide capital A to capital Z inside the inner iteration. This inner iteration will used to traverse the complete string or array. From zero index to size of the str, this str will be compared. This str coming character is first of all converted to ASCII using the time conversion, type conversion, and compared with the provided ASCII code from the outer loop. If it satisfy, then it will be add up to the sum, and each and every time sum will be given as zero to the inner loop. Okay, so nice.